Hey friends, we're here today at the beautiful Mead Botanical Gardens, a 50 acre oasis of wilderness here in the middle of the city. We're hearing cars drive by and trains go past and it's a beautiful reminder of how much wonderful nature medicine there can be even in these dense urban spaces. And this morning we're here with one of our ubiquitous urban weeds and that is Spanish needle. Biden's alba or sometimes listed as Biden's pelosa is the Latin name of this plant and it's in the Asteraceae family which is commonly called the daisy family so you can see it's beautiful little daisy flower here really giving away its botanical relatives and this little weed is an amazing medicine there are 200 species in the Biden's genus found all over the world and many of them are used both for food and for medicine now in terms of food with Spanish needle I love to pick off these beautiful daisy flowers and use them to adorn salads they are edible and they have a little bit of a peppery flavor the leaves of Spanish needle are also edible now if this plant is a young young sprout like four to six inches straight out of the ground new growth you might mix it in with some other salad greens I don't like to eat too much of the raw greens in one sitting because they contain saponins and too many saponins can give yourself an upset tummy however the leaves of this plant cooked are actually really delicious and also very nutritious we treat these leaves like a pot herb which means that we will boil them or saute them cook them kind of like you would kale or spinach Recent studies have shown that Spanish needle leaves when cooked have a broader spectrum of minerals than our domesticated spinach does. So a little bit more nutritious and of course as a wild food, these foods also give us a little bit of that spirit of the wild or that essence of the wild that many of us living in a domesticated life in the city can often use a good dose of. Now, not just the food, Spanish needle is an amazing medicine. And it's also the aerial parts or the leaves that are primarily used. It's an incredible antimicrobial and especially an antibacterial. In Steven Buhner's book on herbal antibiotics, he notes Spanish needle is a systemic antibacterial. And that means that it supports all over the body bacterial infections. It's known especially to be useful against Staphylococcus, E. coli, and strep bacteria, as well as dozens of other strains. Really makes a strong medicine when you tincture it in alcohol. But you can also use the leaves in a tea form as a water extraction, and you'll still find a really potent medicine. Now, as with any foraging, I encourage you to leave a good 50 foot buffer between what you're harvesting and a roadway or a possibly polluted waterway, just to make sure that your medicine is really fresh and pure. And you find this plant in really lots of different environments, both rural and urban. It's a very common weed for us to see here in the city of Orlando. It does grow further north, as well as lots of other species, such as Biden's frondosa, which is also used as an antibacterial medicine. I do want to note that part of the importance of Spanish needle is that right now in Florida, it's an incredibly important food for pollinators. So leave a little patch of Spanish needle in your yard in its flowering form to support the bees and the other local pollinators. Let a little patch stay wild. Don't harvest too many of the flowers. You'll notice pollinators will start to gravitate around these flowers. It's such an important food for them and we know how important it is right now for us to support our local pollinators. So Spanish Needle, Biden's Alba, check out your yard, see if you have it there, let us know how you use it, leave a comment below. I love to share our experiences so we can all learn together. Signing off from Mead Gardens, look forward to hearing from you soon and until then, may the plants be with you.